Hey guys, welcome back. We are now working on question number 25 of the Mathematical Analysis Readiness Test. So this question says, what value of c will make the expression x squared plus 6x plus 4 plus c a perfect square? Sorry about my dog, by the way. <laughs> so in order to do this, I am first going to rewrite it in the form I prefer, which is x squared plus 6x plus blank. So our goal here is to add some number to this blank, which later we will go back to a, like basically blank is going to equal 4 plus c, but we can deal with that at the end. So we need to add a number here that's going to make this a perfect square. So what is a perfect square? A perfect square is something like x plus 1 squared, or x plus 3 squared, or x plus 9 squared. So anytime you factor a polynomial and you end up with two terms that are the same or a repeated term, uh, which will look something like this, that's a perfect square. So what is not a perfect square is something if you have x plus 1 times x plus 5. That is not a perfect square because you have two different terms. So in order to find out what goes in this blank here, we take the b term, we divide it by 2, and then we square it. So in this case, we'll get 6 over 2 squared, which equals 3 squared, which equals 9. So I'm going to put a 9 here. Now I'm going to show you that this is in fact a perfect square. So if we factor this using traditional methods, we would get, if we, we needed to find a number that multiplied to 9 and added to 6. So our options would be 1 times 9 or 3 times 3. In this case, 3 times 3 would work because it adds up to equal 6. So I would put a 3 here and a 3 here. And this has a repeated term. So this could in fact be written as x plus 3 squared, which is a perfect square. So going back to the question, we have this 9 here. So 9 would equal 4 plus c. So that means c would equal 5. So that's the only thing you have to remember in this is just not to go back to that because you do have this 4 plus c here. <clears throat> so now, um, for those of you that just wanted that much, feel free to move on, but I'm going to explain why completing the square is valuable. So there are a few different ways of factoring a polynomial. <clears throat> Excuse me. You could use the quadratic equation, you could factor it using traditional methods, you could use the tic-tac-toe method. Sometimes completing the square is going to make your life a lot easier because Let's say you had, I don't know, let's just say you had this here, x squared plus 6x, or let's say you have this, uh, plus 10 equals, these aren't going to be nice numbers, but let's just say 8. So traditionally, you would subtract 8 from each side, and then you'd hope that you could find two numbers that nicely multiply to the c term and add to the b term. The other way to do this would be to complete the square. So let's just walk through this quickly equals, so plus blank equals, so I would subtract 10 from both sides, so that would give me a negative 2 plus blank. So because I've already done it here, I know that this is a 9, this would also be a 9. Because of this equal sign, whatever you do to the left, you have to do to the right, because those have to be equivalent. So on this side, factored, this would become x plus 3 squared equals 7. Now, to solve this, this is much easier to solve, um, especially than using the quadratic, for example. So you can take the square root of this side, the square root of that side, and you're left with x plus 3 equals plus or minus square root 7. Subtract 3 from both sides, you get x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root 7. So that was a lot easier instead of going through the entire quadratic um, process, at least in my opinion. So I think this is actually very underutilized. And if you can just remember how to do this and kind of get the concepts behind it, I would highly recommend using this. All right, well, I hope that video was helpful and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.